listen. Ninety-five <laughs> percent of the country bets giants and over, like it's fucking stealing money. And people started doing stats with me saying, Stu, do you realize the Super Bowl champ has covered nine straight first game back? Do you realize that, Stu? Do you realize that the Giants always piss on Dallas and they beat them twice last year and covered both games? Do you realize the last seven times they played, the game went over the total, over the total, over the total? And these are intelligent individuals. These are millionaires and billionaires that bet my games. These are people that work their balls off and make a quarter of a million bucks. Highly intelligent, Harvard graduate, MIT graduates, people with 2,300 on their SATs or old school 1,500 SATs. So we're not talking about idiots, people that look at the game and analyzed it. And over 13,000 sports services last night, there was only 40 sports services that won out of 13,000. 40 sports services won out of 13,000 and of course, I was one of them. Now, I scored for 1625000 playing 500000 on Dallas, 500000 on the under, and a $250,000 parlay. Another dig at the office for me is so Stu Finer. So again, when people are going to spew out statistics and trends, they're fucking meaningless. When people are going to say, past performances on this game gives you Giants and over, that's meaningless. How about right now what's going to happen? How about right now what's going to happen? And obviously, that was like stealing money with Dallas and the under. There was no two ways about it. Dallas dominated that game wire to wire to wire. The under was the easiest call ever, ever, ever. And the parley was like stealing fucking money. And again, that's what I do. That's why I'm the best there is. That's why we do 15 million a year pay-per-click on the website. That's why people pay us $50 million live. That's why the biggest bet of the world betters in the world call me on my cell. Commiserate with me. Share gut level with me. Ask me, Stu, what do you know about this game? Why is this going to win? And then other people know who have been with me for years, decades three decades, they don't ask. They don't care. They know if I give out a game that what I know is better than what they know or what they can find out or what they can buy. My information has been worth paying for for going on 32 years because I get the right information from the right people, the winning information from the right people. And of course, yesterday as advertised again, another 3-0 sweep in Major League Baseball on the free pick phone. I told you you would go 3-0 in Major League Baseball on the free pick phone. New York Yankees, Toronto Blue Jays, Milwaukee Brewers. Yankees, Blue Jays, and Brewers. Now again today, I'm focusing on a lock-free winner on the free pick phone, the winner of the New York Yankees, Baltimore Orioles, absolutely free, absolutely free, absolutely free, on the free pick phone, 800 800-982-2211, 800-982-2211. On the video blog, I discuss in-depthly the two games that I'm betting two and a half million dollars on each that I'll make five million dollars this weekend on the video blog I discuss it soup to nuts and why both of these games are worth the ten thousand dollars each I'm charging on the video blog I discuss that soup to nuts let's rock and roll let's score out now tonight we have a college football game on the card Cincinnati Pittsburgh everybody and their mother's betting Cincinnati Cincinnati went from three to three and a half to four to four and a half. It's landed about five, and it looks like it might go higher. Now, are they right? Is the money right? Is the public right? Or is it sucker money? Well, Pittsburgh just lost to a fucking team that isn't even in their class. A team that's what, fucking one double A almost. Come on, give me a break. They just lost. So is Pittsburgh that bad? They have a new coach. They have a new organization. They have a new motto there. Is it going to take time to get going? Will the Bearcats in Cincinnati shell them? Or will Pittsburgh stun the public, stun the world, and win the game? Now, if you've noticed, these college football games, underdogs have been barking loud. As we saw Vanderbilt cover against South Carolina, and as we saw 
Georgia Tech covered against Virginia Tech, which I didn't think that would happen. And Virginia Tech really pissed on him, but Tech did cover. So is the dog going to bark tonight, or is the favorite going to win? Okay? You can pay me on the internet site at stewfinder.com. And watch the video blog, because find out why it's worth paying 20000 cumulatively for both games this weekend. From me, your source, Stu Finder.